Released for the PS Vita in June 2017, Tokyo Zanaru is an action RPG set in modern day Tokyo, Japan. The devs have taken inspiration from real locations within Tokyo, like the game's central station place that was modeled after the north exit of Tachikawa Station. The game is playable on PS Vita and there is an enhanced remake for PS4 and PC called Tokyo Zanaru EX Plus. Falcom first announced the game on December 2014. The company referred to the game as a urban myth action RPG. They also emphasized that they wanted to create a game with a different feel rather than their other role-playing game franchises, such as uh, Ease and Legend of Heroes. The story follows a young man by the name of Ko Tokisaka, a high school student who lives in the outskirts of Tokyo. Apart from being a student, he also works part-time jobs, and one late night he decides to follow one of his classmates into a dark valley. From there he is sucked into a vortex and he discovers a nightmare realm, known as the Eclipse. The story is pretty straightforward and quite typical, if we put it that way. It's nothing special, but it's nothing bad either. There are some really likable characters like Shiori and Sora. Uh, I really liked Sora, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. The game combines social elements with dungeon crawling. In Tokyo you live a day-to-day -day life as a student, while in Eclipse Dungeons you're fighting monsters. The combat system does have depth to it, but it isn't obvious or apparent at first. But I'd say after your third or fourth dungeon, you will get the grasp of everything the game offers in terms of combat. Now we get back to Sora. My first playthrough of Tokyo Zanaru, I played on the hard difficulty, because I believe that a decent challenge brings more fun and more satisfaction whenever you play and finish video games. Uh, Sora is a character that joins your party quite early in the game, and she has a charge attack that absolutely fucks shit up. Her charge attack is so strong compared to the other character's charge attacks, and I would just go through dungeons and bosses only using Sora and her charge attack, even with ease killing everything regardless of their elemental weakness or not. Um, I felt like the game was too easy or unbalanced, but still not too sure whether that is a legitimate complaint towards the game, since I actually used gems that would power up the charge attacks too. So you know, regardless, it is all still thoroughly enjoyable. I can't speak for EX+, Plus, but I feel like Tokyo Zanaru is the kind of game you want on your portable. So I would recommend getting it for the Vita, rather than playing it on PC or PS4, despite the fact that there is additional content in the EX Plus version. I have recommended Tokyo Zanaru to friends, and now I will recommend the game to you. If you're a fan of Japanese RPGs in general, Tokyo Zanaru is well worth your time and money.